Next on Newsburger. You'll be going down for a long stretch, my son. Banged up, stirring porridge, faster than you can say invasive full body search. Yes, we ask, has prison gone soft? Joining us by satellite is Governor Love from HM Prison Jerusalem. Welcome, Gov Love. Aye, Tim. So, Governor, your prison, has it gone soft? Well, Tim, there have been some problems with our experimental bouncy castle cell block. So I hear. How'd you find out? There was a leak. Well, Tim, uh, the whole experience has been a roller coaster ride, which coincidentally is something else I've installed in the prison. All sounds more like a Butlin's holiday camp. I can assure you, Tim, we'd never tolerate that level of suffering here. Ultimately, I'm just trying to put the mate into inmate. Yes, feel free to borrow me iPad, Nobby. Uh, just don't sell it for fags. Again, you naughty little old lag you. <laughs> An example of our progressive policy on discipline there, Tim. In what sense is it discipline? Well, he certainly taught me a lesson. <laughs> It's a chance for me to demonstrate respect for my fellow man, especially if that man is Mr. Big of D-Wing. Let's get this clear. Are you admitting to being in the pocket of a convicted criminal? Well, I wouldn't say I was uh, zipped up in his cagoule, Tim. I'm more hanging out of the back pocket of his trousers going, uh, ooh, please don't sit down suddenly. <laughs> Nobby, not the carpet tiles. You can't smoke them. Shut your fat face, you fat-faced fat beef up! Ah, the sweet sound of rehabilitation. No, no, Tim, you've got to understand, this is a, a tough place. A lot of the kids here come from broken homes. In, in many cases, it was them that broke them. And they're mixed up, angry, and have a grudge against society. And that's just the warders. Let's move on to your record on security. Namely, the high-profile escape of Simon Peter, big cheese from the gang of crime overlord Jesus Christ. It's rumoured he was miraculously helped by an angel. Ah, well, uh, Angel's real name is Roy. But yes, he does do miraculous things accessorising his prison uniform. So you're keen to scotch the rumour that Peter was given supernatural help to escape despite being closely guarded and in chains. Chains, Tim? <laughs> no. Uh, not unless they were daisy chains from Angel's hair. <laughs> As for supernatural help, uh, I think I'd find it more believable if you were to tell me that Peter got past the guards by presenting them with a get-out-of-jail-free card and then fled into the night disguised as a small metallic Scotty dog. Because that's always happening. Oh, for goodness sake. Bring, bring. Hello. Governor, it's for you. It's the great spec savers in the sky. Your very focal eyes of faith are ready to collect. <laughs> um, uh, thanks. Gov love. Thank you. Good to shoot the breeze with you, Tim. Sorry, there's been a shooting. No, no, shooting the breeze is a... This is breaking news. We're getting reports in of a firearm having been discharged at some French cheese. I repeat, the brie is down. For more details, we go straight over to a cow. How now? <laughs>